This is another one of those things that yet again, you've bullied me into doing something that I really don't want to eat or make, but that's not going to stop us from making the best version that's ever existed. Today we're making the McDonald's filet o fish First off, the name, if anyone speaking normally to another human being says filet o fish immediately eject that person from the building. If you don't know what this is, it's basically a sandwich with two buns, a piece of cheese for some reason, fried fish, tartar sauce, <clears throat> sandwiched in between two buns. Now, thinking about it, I can see how it could be good hypothetically. I honestly have actually never eaten one of these before, so um, with all that said, let's... Go taste it and see if we can make it. Oh my God, we're back at McDonald's. I hate it when people say that, McDonald's. It's obviously Mick, right? MC Donald's, McDonald's. Yeah, we're back at McDonald's. Hello, we're not there yet. Proudly serving our community. Here's a white guy. Okay, time to order the one thing I never thought I would say. Hi, uh, can I get two filet o fish sandwiches? Thank you. Thank you so much. So we've got, unfortunately, the bag. I keep telling you guys, we don't need to do the whole modern art burger bag, okay? Imagine you're dyslexic and you look at this. I'm so sorry for you. Give me a bag. Lay a fish, here we go. I don't even know if this has hype really. <laughs> if everyone can see everyone's face in this room right now. Oh, just don't look at it. What do you think of this, Jojo? Oh my God, I should not have done that. That is... It's like it bites you back when you smell it. Arr, 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 arr. What is that? It's not even a whole slice of cheese. They 3D printed this bread. <laughs> what flag is this? What's the difference? Feel, somebody feel this long. No, it's part of the bread. It's part of the bread. Mama, close your eyes. Oh, that cleansed the palate really well. It's not crispy. There's no flavor. All I taste is fake bun. I think I taste the fake cheese. And it's just like absurdly sweet. And all I gotta say is there just shouldn't be any of that in this. We're not even gonna make this better. We're just gonna remake the whole, we're gonna like reschedule or something. Let's just make it. You know, McDonald's buns are a tragedy. Also, why do they smell the way that they do? And my resolution to that tragedy is a beautiful Hokkaido milk bread bun. This dough is the exact same as my dinner roll recipe, except in the form of, well, sandwich buns. So I'm gonna give a very quick overview of the dough, but that full process can be found in the original video, link in the description. It's real simple. We're gonna make a quick roux paste, also called the Tang Zong, by heating two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of water and four tablespoons of milk. Mix and heat that till thickened to a paste, then hydrate two and a half teaspoons of yeast in half a cup of milk and half a cup of warm water. Separately, I got my stand mixer, where you'll whisk together your 525 grams of bread flour, one tablespoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of salt. Mix it in your stand mixer, add three tablespoons of vegetable oil, your tang zong paste, one egg plus one egg yolk, and of course, your yeasty, milky stuff. Yummy. From there, you're gonna cover it, give it a respectful name, and rise till doubled, about one hour. Then punch the life out of it, dump it onto a very lightly floured work surface. Now from here, you're gonna divide the dough into nine even pieces that are around 80 grams per piece. Once that's done, take each of those pieces of dough and gently shape them by gathering up their ends into the center, flipping them over, and rolling them in circles seam side down while maintaining constant contact with your work surface until they become doit balls. Repeat with the rest and place this on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Also, don't forget to leave your children space to grow. Then just cover that with another baking sheet sheet inverted and let that proof at room temp for 30 minutes. Once that's done, give them a light brush of egg wash, which consists of one egg beaten with one teaspoon of water. Then be sure to brush the entire surface of each bun. Okay, no bald buns. Then toss those into a 375 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes or until they turn into beautiful, luxurious bulbs of fluffy flavor. And optionally, you can give them a nice brushing of melted butter right after they're removed from the oven while still hot. Then just leave them to cool completely on a wire rack. Next up, before le poisson, we need a very special sauce. Begin with one cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of finely sliced chives, one tablespoon of finely chopped dill, one shallot that's been very finely diced, one tablespoon of finely chopped capers, and last but not least, one to two finely diced dill pickles, depending on their size. Granted, this is technically a brunoise cut, which to be honest, you should know, but if not, it's okay. Papa still keys. Finally, hit that with the zest and juice of one large lemon, season it to taste with salt and pepper, and mix all that together until thoroughly combined. Now, while this is technically an upscale tartar sauce, I actually prefer to call it horsey sauce, even though it's not. Don't ask me why, because I don't actually know. Okay, we have our components. Now we must take to the sea. And by that, I mean the seafood section of your supermarket. Doesn't that just sound terrible? Just sucks the romanticism right out of it. First thing we need to pick is our fish. In general, most white fish will work, but I actually prefer either haddock or a nice thick cod. That's 
cod. You'll need about two pounds, which should equal about one large side of fish. Cut that into four equally sized fillets about the size of your buns. Then once you have your fish, season it generously with kosher salt and let it sit for about 10 minutes at room temperature or wrapped overnight in the fridge. This is essentially a light cure. Once cured, you're ready to make your batter. In a large bowl, add one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of ground white pepper, two teaspoons of cayenne powder, two teaspoons of Old Bay, optional. Give that some whiskey business until thoroughly combined. Now next, you're gonna whisk in one whole egg. Yes, it's gonna get shaggy, just please stay calm. Stay calm. Then gently whisk in one 12 ounce can of beer. Sound like an infomercial the way I said that. And look, not just any beer, an ale or a blonde is gonna be the ideal candidate here. Now whisk that together till thoroughly incorporated and that is your batter. Please try to avoid any clumpy clumpy, okay? I want now fill up a pot with at least two and a half inches of vegetable oil and make sure it doesn't go more than three quarters of the way up the pot you use. It's dangerous. Heat that over medium heat till it reaches 365 degrees Fahrenheit and you're ready to fry. Now your fry station should look like this. You got a small bowl of about one cup of flour, your batter, and of course your fry oil and a landing zone for your fish. Now take a piece of fish, toss it in the flour to coat. And when I say coat, I mean every little crevice. Shake off the excess flour, then dunk your fish into the batter, coat the whole darn thing and gently but quickly drop it into the oil. I wouldn't recommend frying more than three pieces of fish at a time here. Now fry your fishy little men for three to five minutes or until a gorgeous golden brown quippy fish man emerges. Pull that out using a spider and drain on a wire rack. Then simply repeat with the rest of your fish for a very beautiful time. Now we have our components, let's assemble this. First, grab your buns, slice them in half, toast them in a pan with some butter until beautifully, nearly sensual. Toasty, toasty. Then hit your bottom bun with one to two slices of cheese. This is a sharp cheddar. I lightly melted mine with a kitchen torch. Then carefully lower on your quippy boy. Hit it with a fatty dollop of your sauce. Look, I like a lot of sauce, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. Put it to your heart's desire. And finally, grab your top bun and crown your king. And my goodness, look at this cute little fish sandwich. My buns are glistening, fish looking crunchy, sauce looking drippy. Now let's see who the winner is here. Okay, I don't even know why we're doing this. We won. We won. It held together too. A beautiful beer battered fish. I, I don't know what to say. It's good, not bad, like the other one. The fish is perfectly cooked. It tastes fresh, it's not fishy, it's oceanic as it should be. You got the acidity from this beautiful tartar sauce and you've got all those nice herbs and the onion and of course the fish, that lacy, crispy, beer battery, spiced crunch. I mean, what more could you possibly want? We can't have a bus batter even though we pretty much won. We're to taste test this anyway, beginning now. Today we have Jojo, he's a new man. Well, no, he's the same man. He's just a new hire. Yay, everybody clap for Jojo, so exciting. Oh my gosh, Vickers jumping. Don't drop the rig I just bought. So, uh, fun fact, Jojo does not like mayonnaise. I don't know why he wanted to be on this one, so God bless. Can I give her, give her a rip? He's like, mm. That's numero uno. Mm. My little baby. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, number two. Why, why? Not number one or I'm number definitely two? Definitely number one. <laughs> Describe your experience right now. The fish was absolutely amazing. The breading was off, off, absolutely amazing. That's after sitting for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. This breading is like, it wants to fall off so bad. That was horrible. Yeah, I don't it's want that in my mouth. I feel like most yet. people don't want this. You know, there is one amazing trait to this though, is that you can throw this and it won't, it won't fall apart. What did I say? What did I say? Oh, okay, only because it hit that pole though. It doesn't really. <laughs> Long story short, we are the winners, but better. Episode the. Ah. You want to know what else is full of crunchy fish man dreams sandwiched between my voluptuous buns? B roll. Guys, and that is it. So we made our PAO fish. I mean, I think we kind of knew that this was gonna go over well, but what I did figure out is fish sandwiches are something that need to be more in the forefront of things. They're so, so good. Fried fish, two buns, fried fish tacos. I wanna see more of that in the world. There's a lot of different ways you can make this too. You could mix and match the different sauces. You could do different kinds of cheese. Like this is kind of a modular sandwich, if you will. You could even change the breading, but I would recommend sticking to the beer batter because it's very good. Now, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.